Many thanks. Well, joining me now from Kenosha is CBS News correspondent Christine Flores. Christine, how are things in Kenosha right now? A much different scene this morning. Things are a lot quieter. We're at the corner of 63rd and Sheridan, the same location where one of those shootings took place last night. Where we're standing in right now, this is actually a dealership parking lot. I'm going to step out of the way here so you can get a closer look. You can see some of the cars have been, all of the cars actually have been damaged. Windows have been broken. Uh, cars have been set on fire as well. Now, to give you an idea of how we got here yesterday, police officers, once that eight o'clock curfew hit, police officers tried a different tactic as compared to the one they had done the first couple of nights since they realized it just wasn't working, which was essentially just standing at the courthouse protecting it. At eight o'clock when that curfew hit, police officers went into the crowd, pushed all of the protesters away from the courthouse block by block. And as they were doing so, they were using tear gas and rubber bullets. Now, all of that was around 1145 when those several dozen gunshots rang out. That's when pro protesters started running for safety and now you probably have all seen that graphic video that has been circulating and going around social media well the Kenosha Police Department we asked them about that earlier and they did acknowledge that they have seen it and they are still asking people if they have any other video or any other information to get in contact with them okay many thanks for that update that's Christine Flores who's in Kenosha